If the hallowed bell is a big fan. This golden year passes us by. A waiting platform on which to succeed. With no legs you can run. With no arms you can swim. Strive is what you need. One day soon. Identify the person you stole. I know what my own brother in law looks like, and I'd know him from miles off. He it to the police saying he was sick of hiding. Question. Did not ask that my son was murdered by that man there, and that I lost my mum three months. I suggest that Joe Miller found Daniel Latimer's phone and was about to report it to the police when. You arrived alone. Or are we sticking to facts? The number had ever called or sent texts to Danny's phone, a mobile number belonging to Mr. Miller. Just to correspond with Danny, was that a private computer? It was Mr. Miller's home. Mr. Miller and I worked for two years together, between 1996 and 1998. We were shift partners working as paramedics at Cardiff City Hospital. Can you describe Mr. Miller as a colleague? A bit quiet, kept himself to himself. When did you stop working together? It was November 1998, two days after bonfire night. Oh, the guy was bleeding, he ended up with three broken ribs, and it took... Is it... Is this how you think you're going to win? Northerly Province, Barakshan. Two aid workers are travelling with their Afghan guides to visit a clinic and provide medical assistance. 28-year-old Helen Johnston is a British nutritionist and graduate of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Helen Johnston stated before she went, actually, that was what she wanted to do. She wanted to teach mothers, young mothers. Both women work for the Swiss-based charity, Medair. Taliban aren't active in the area. Attacks are rare. Helen and her colleagues think they'll be okay. As Helen and Morgawe head up into the mountains, what they don't realize is that they're being watched. salary in, in some parts of Afghanistan. It's mind-blowing. It, it just... I don't think they understand the risks involved. Stop! Stop! Up there! On a remote hillside road, they are ambushed by a well-armed gang. They steal cameras, mobile phones, laptops and wallets. At this stage, Helen and her colleagues have no idea who has attacked them or what will become of them. Are they bandits, Taliban, or even Al-Qaeda? This is the beginning of a terrifying ordeal. Yeah. 
Within days, the kidnappers make contact with the Afghan government and release a video of demands. We have captured two rest of the no one's ever going to find us. Jerusalem. And tax collectors as people who were siding with the foreigners in oppressing the Jewish people. His first all-important question, who to tug? Observers watch his every move. They need answers to a number of critical questions. What's the target's vulnerability? What kind of security has he got? Is he conscious of being a target? In order to... Gradually, the observers build a detailed pattern of the target's lifestyle. Finally, the details are checked one last time. Target identified. Routine established. It's time to make the hit. The reconnaissance team locates the target. Are there any signs of unexpected danger? They kill the man. Crowd. And people would get confused who did it. Yeah, any time. Whatever the truth, the Sakari remain, for many people, the most fearsome black ops assassins of the ancient world. Chicago's pretty swell in the fall. Prince Talaman of Egina. They came up with no plausible reasons as to how these devices worked. He even held a demonstration purporting to show the detector in action. Officers were astonished by how stage managed.